I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. More than anything. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore, we bless and praise the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. We thank God for giving us the avenue and the privilege to preach the gospel of deliverance. The gospel is the vehicle that God has placed in this earth to deliver his people. The Bible declares, blessed is he that come with glad tidings. When you're bound, it's good to have a rescuer. The Lord rescued me from my sin, delivered me from my own self, and I praise God for that. You know, we many times think that the devil is our enemy. Yes, he is the chief enemy, but there's one that sleeps at night with you. He wakes up with you. When you open your mouth, he opens his mouth. Amen. You have to handle him. And there's a correct way to handle him. And it's through God's word. You believe me, say amen. I'm grateful to the Lord for this day in which he's gave us. We don't know if we're going to finish this day out, but show sure enough, we got a chance to give God the glory to his name this morning. Hallelujah. There's much going on in our midst. There are things going on all around us. Many saints are blind, but thank God for the ones whose God has opened their eyes. You believe me, say amen. Uh, the spiritual mind that can see just how close it is to the return of Christ. Men and women finally are waking up and realizing that you're not going to stay him. You got, I don't care how many machines they got to try to keep you here. When God get ready, you're going to move. Amen. My confidence is in the Lord. I, my confidence is in the Lord and my faith is in Jesus Christ to keep me as long as I'm here. And when my time comes, to guide me out of him. Yeah. Hallelujah. We don't like to think about it. We try to push it off. But who's to say you're going to finish this day out? Yeah. Amen. Now, when you laid down last night, Mother Ed, you didn't know whether you were going to get up this morning or not. I believe it was David that declared, Amen, Lord, shh, make me to know my end yeah. and the measure of my days that I may know how, how frail I am. When something is frail, that means it's, you better have to handle it with kid gloves. Yeah. It's subject you you if if it falls it'll break real easy. Our lives are but a vapor. Did y'all know that? We're here today. We're going tomorrow. Sometimes here today, gone today. Hallelujah! And remember, when I draw my last breath, whatever I did or didn't do toward the Lord, it's over. I can't fix it. I gotta put my best foot forward right here, right now. It's a must. That you get it right while you're here, Nate. That you get it right while you're here. It's a must that every one of us refrain from doing things and getting involved in things that once had us bound. Yeah. Amen now. I know we don't like to talk about it. But some of us, our families got a hook in our nose. Some of us, the friends we've chosen for ourselves got a hook in our nose. Listen, beloved, you cannot mix and mingle with the wicked. Amen now. God don't like that. I know some people didn't like what I taught on Friday night. I don't care. There's a dope. God in the Bible, through Jesus Christ, has given us keys. What is a key used for? To lock or to unlock. You unlock things in your life and God won't touch it. Amen now. You lose things in your life and God won't touch it. You lose that. You let that thing loose in your life off into your family. Hallelujah. Amen now. When I got saved, I cut ties. Y'all with me? I cut family ties. Amen. Before it was over, my mama wound up over him. I mean no disrespect to no man's religion. 
But for me to leave holiness and go back to where she was, that's a step down. Amen now. Especially when I grew up in that religion and I know what they stood for. Well, amen now. And for me to mix and mingle with somebody, check this out. God gave me this. Argue with him. If you marry outside the Lord, if you marry somebody that's got a different viewpoint about the scriptures than you do, one of y'all going to draw one another. Under the guise of love. No, sir. No, sir. My children and every one of y'all that's been with me a while, you know what this book says. You've been taught out of the book. If you marry somebody that does not believe true holiness, you in trouble. God calls us to make sacrifices. He calls us to make decisions upon our lives. What are we going to do with Jesus Christ? What are you going to do with this holy God? This holy son of God? What are you going to do with him? I know some of you didn't like what I preached last Sunday. But I wasn't through and I'm going to finish this morning. Nobody wins in this thing but God. Nobody. The choices that you make you will answer for those choices. Yes, you will. I want to pay for all of my mess over him. Amen now. I don't want no trouble. That's why I pray God search me, try me, see if there's any wicked way in me, and then lead me in your way everlasting. Whatever I got to pull off, I'm going to pull off. Whatever I got to come out of, I'm going to come out of. I said on last Sunday, I could go to heaven without being a preacher. Yeah, no, hey, hey, man, nah. I can make heaven without being a pastor. But my God, I done studied this thing too much. I know too much. And I realize too much. It's, it's a reality to me about heaven and hell. It is a reality to me who Jesus is and who that low down filthy dog is trying to kill me. And rest assured, every time that dog come, he's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. He'll come. Kill the holy doctrine in your life. And once he kills that doctrine, then you embrace, do your best. You'll embrace that mess. A doctrine now, do the best you can. You can't find that nowhere in the scriptures. It ain't in there. Hallelujah. It ain't in there. If he's not requiring us to perfect this thing, then the Bible's a lie. Amen now. If it's not required for me to put off the old man and my deeds, my old deeds, and put on this new man who after God is created in righteousness and true holiness, if he's not requiring that, find 2 Corinthians chapter 7, tear it out your book. Because it does not apply. 2 Corinthians 6 chapter 14 verse. Be not in unequally yoked with unbelievers. Amen now. He apparently he's dealing with unbelievers that's off in God's house. He wasn't dealing with the world. He wasn't dealing with folks what wasn't coming to church. Now listen beloved. You read them Thessalonians. Uh, uh, Thank God for First Thessalonians. Thank God for them saints at Thessalonica. Paul the apostle in that first chapter said, Yet your faith is sounded out to Macedonia and Achaia of what kind of entering in we had unto y'all. Because my God everywhere, amen, praise God, the people hear about y'all. Everywhere y'all go, y'all talking about this Jesus that turned you from your idols unto God. You be beside God. The testimony was how they turned from idols unto serve the truth and the living. It's in your Bible. First, first Thessalonians chapter 1. It's in there. Amen. Idolatry. I, I believe we can put that on the top of the list of things God hates. 
And God in heaven knows in 2012, idolatry is just as vital and vital now as it was when he killed the folks in Egypt, when he killed that bunch that he brought out of Egypt, when he killed the Israelites after he got them in the promised land and they choose to serve idols. Why well, bless his name? Wait a minute. Why would I take a chance on making the person that got my breath in his hand mad with me? I ain't dumb as I look, Roy. Hey, man, now. And sure enough, sure enough, I'm rough and tough. But I'm a punk when it comes to, to him. Hey, man, now. Yes, sir. I feel one. And he's it. Hallelujah. I'd be a fool to turn from what I know and turn another way. Hey. Y'all may not, those of you that got the Bible band books, you might not think too much about the first lesson in the Bible band, about them old pioneers, but you better know, this nation and the people in this nation that are professing to know Jesus Christ, you better go back and find what them old saints had. Hey Amen. God is bringing this thing to a close. He's getting ready to bring everything that has breath this day to zero balance. Yes, sir. Everything that's on your account, he's going to make you answer for it. Hey man, now, the lies, the scheming, the connection, he's going to make you answer for it. Hallelujah. Nobody wins in this thing but God. Nobody. Hallelujah. If you can't beat him, if you can't whoop him, if you can't out talk him, he ain't got to speak from heaven. It's enough of this word in our heart that talks to us when we get ready to do wrong. Hey, Amen. Jesus said, my word is living. Huh? My word is spirit. My word is life. It's living. Anybody, anybody uh, start to do something wrong? You heard the word of God in your heart and made you scared you didn't do it? Let me see your hand. Hallelujah. That thing got a way of getting down in the marrow of the bones. Amen. And if it can get down in the marrow of your bones to help you live right, it also will heal you. Why bless his name? Come on, Proverbs 3. This thing is held to our fleshly and murder to our bones. Why bless his name? I can't calm down. He won't let me. I've been up since 2 o'clock this morning. Every time I close my eyes, he's talking to me. I said, my God, I guess I just lay here and take it. Amen. Well, I laid down this morning, Sister Lorene. I laid down and took it this morning. I said, my God, amen, praise God. If you just let me get the belt, I'll show enough tell it. I'll tell it. I'll tell it. They may not like it, but I'm going to tell it. Hallelujah. He's sifting us. The devil ain't doing it. God is sifting us. He's sifting us. Remember in Revelation, he said, praise God, he's going to shake everything in heaven. That ain't talking about where he is. But everything, he's going to shake the heavens. And everything that ain't supposed to be out there. He's putting it. What does that mean? That prince of the power there. He's going to put a boot in his butt. Yes, sir. That's why I love the book of Revelation. I love the test, the New Testament that show me all, already where I, my standing is with God. It didn't show me who's going to win in this thing here. Well, amen. Now, Psalm 15 and 1. Lord, who's going to abide in your tabernacle? Who's going to dwell in your home? In other words, who's going to get up there and stay up there? And you better know, you ask him a question, he'll give you the answer. He that what? Walks upright. You can't walk upright unless you got right in you. Hey, Amen. Remember now, he only leads on one path. That's the path of righteousness. And you can't walk that path until he make you right. You'll be sad. He got to make you right. Turning over a new leaf ain't going to get it. Making a new year resolution ain't going to get it. No, sir. You may do good for a month, two months, three months, maybe even almost a year. And then you go right back to the same thing. Why? You ain't got no power to keep you from that. You be beside me. When you going to preach? You can't preach without reading the scripture. You can't preach without reading the scripture, preacher. That's not, that's not political wreck. Well, I'm going to be correct this one time. I'm going I'm to be politically correct this one time. Psalms 37 and 1. Pay no attention to the world's wiles. Pay 
no attention to what's going on in this society. I told y'all, don't worry about the economy. If your, if your life is wrapped up in Jesus Christ, you better know he'll never see the righteous for Satan. Neil ain't see the seed begging bread. Why bless his name? You know what's wrong with the, the righteous though? You know what's wrong with the righteous? The righteous ain't satisfied. They're not content with such things as they have. I know God helped me, but I got to help myself too. Now, the only thing, he, only way he told you you can help yourself is to help yourself to him. You get all him, you can stand. But here's the key. The closer you get to him, the more you begin to see your flaws. Hallelujah. And, and everybody ain't willing to, to fix those flaws. We beg and plead for God to do things that we can do for ourselves. Well, bless his name. I ain't going to call you, I'm bound by smoking, pray God. Huh? God, if you deliver me now, put the pack down. I ain't going to beg God to keep me from fornicating now. Stay out the corners. That's what our nation taught the women, when, amen, when he was here. Stay out the corners. Don't get in a place where you have to compromise your integrity. I know I ain't got a hard head on, but I'm working today. God at work this morning. Hallelujah, construction work this morning. Hallelujah, I got a chisel and a hammer too. Amen now. And all you got to do, praise God, is lay down on the table because God going to fix all of us. Why bless his name? Psalm 37 and verse 1. Read. Fret not thy Don't death. you get mad. Don't you get upset. Because and wait a minute, please. Don't get envious. Yes. Pastor Douglas is a cult. He's, he's, he. He's got the people bewitched. That's, that's, that's the word now. Well, praise God, if this word got you bewitched where you start living right and doing right, you better stay there. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, you, you're not rightly dividing the word. I hear you. I hear you. That's why you write your own Bibles, ain't it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Write your own Bible. Put your own imp- interpretation of it in there. But I believe the only one that God ordained Jessica to interpret the Bible is the Holy Ghost and you can't preach the Bible or study the Bible and be effective without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Get the author. The author tell you what he mean. Wait a minute. First Corinthians 14, 33. God is not the author of confusion. And if he's telling me to live holy and telling you to do the best you can, some wrong somewhere. The difference between the saints then and this bunch we got now. We had saints that paved out the way. They followed the Lord and they plowed down through all of this darkness that's in the world. And they carved out people for the name of the Lord. Now this bunch here, we got around here now. They just want to lay up and lay around. All they got saved now. Then you ride them by being filled with the Holy Ghost. Then soon they get filled with the Holy Ghost, they set out. You got enough nerve saying, I got it. Well, you ain't got it like you're supposed to have it. Because when you got it like you're supposed to have it, that word, that, that, that Holy Ghost, it gets, puts, he's fervent, and he puts a fervent spirit in you to witness. Tell some of these lost folk around here about the Lord. Amen. I know your reputation may suffer, but praise God, you ain't nobody, and I ain't nobody. Amen. Now. You ain't nobody, and I ain't nobody. He's everything. Read it. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Read it. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Why? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass. Read. And wither as a green earth. You notice it ain't how you start out. <laughs> it's how you end up. <laughs> Dale, you see what I'm saying? It ain't starting out. But starting out with the Lord is important. But staying with the Lord, that's a whole new ball game. Amen now. Nah. I said on Friday night, we read in Matthew 7, 13, he talked about the straight gate. Now, straight is not talking about straight as an error. It's dealing with obstacles that God allows. Hey, man, the mountain climber don't just walk up the mountain. Hey, man, nah. he got to put forth an effort. If he don't, it one wrong move. He go, they're, they're scraping him up off the bottom. Hey, man. Straight means that it's rugged. It ain't no flower beds of ease. It's rugged, but no so enough 
The only ones that's going to stay on that straight road is them that want to make heaven. I call them the God pleasers. Huh? The God pleasers. Not men please, the God pleasers. And I said on Friday night, you know, praise God, you, I may be a little bit heavy. And if I can't get through that door walking straight ahead, and, and if I turn slim, I can scot, I may have to turn slim, but I'm going to scoot through there. Huh? It may be just enough room for me to, to, to scoot through, but I'm going to scoot through there. Why is he talking about that straight and narrow? He's talking about everything you need to pull off, you pull off now. Why well, bless his name? Hebrews 12, he told me to look on Jesus the author and to finish of my faith. Huh? Didn't he say it? Didn't he say it? He instructed us to look to Jesus and did every sin and weight that would hinder us pull it off. You still ain't start preaching. Just stay with me. Read. Three. Trust in the Lord. What did you say? Trust in the Lord. What did you say? Trust in the Lord. All right. That's the thing we're going to need. Every one of us going to need. You and me is going to need to find ourselves right there. Ah, hold up. I want Amos 8 and 13. I want that right now. There's coming a time, God, hey, hey, and that time is now. Everybody, when you get Amos 13, look up here. But God is talking about because of the backslidden of the people, he will hide his word. Y'all with me? It's coming a time when there'll be a famine, not of bread, nor of water, but of hearing the words of Amos 8 and 13. Read. Amos 8 and 13. Read. In that day shall the fair virgin and young men faint for thirst. Read. They that swear by the sins of Samaritans. Lord have and mercy. Wait, wait, Lord have mercy. All right, that's good. But give me that 10th verse. And I will turn your feast into morning. My God. And all of your sons into lamentation. What did you, yo, uh huh? Your sons ain't that a mess? The songs we singing now ain't got no power, but they boost us up for a little bit, and then after we get through singing, we right back in a rut. Y'all with me? Amen now. Amen now. Huh? Read. And I will bring up sackcloth upon our lawns and bowlings upon every head. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy now. And Read. I will and I will make it as Wait a minute. Money. Who's talking? The Lord. Wait a minute. Second question. Who is he talking to? Wait a minute. You're in the Old Testament. I'm going to get the New Testament a little bit. I'm going to get the New Testament a little bit. Read. And I will make it as morning of only sun, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Read. Level. Behold, the day coming, says the Lord God. Read. That I will send a family in the yeah, land. Yeah, a what? Famine in the land, not a famine of bread. Lord have mercy. Whoa, I call up him. Hey, if you ain't got nothing in this land, the government gonna make sure you eat. I'm drawing a comparison here. He can't be talking in the last days about bread. Hey, if what went for them goes for us. Why? Because we fall in the same category. He's been good to us. If you're saved, he brought you out of bondage like he brought them out of Egypt. Amen, Amen now. Read. Not thirst for water. Not a thirst for water. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all know good and well we not hunt for no water. We ain't digging no wells. We ain't digging. We, we got water at our disposal. Don't we not? Don't we not? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for water. Because some of us wouldn't be able to stand the other one. They, you are spiritual. Understand what I'm saying. Amen. It's still in order to take a, a bath. Read. But I hear the word of the Lord. Of what? Hear the word of the Lord. All right, everybody looking at me. There's an abundance of the Bible being preached. But the anointing is not there. There are men that can go inside the scriptures and unravel out. They, they do research. You know what I'm saying. Uh, paleontologists and all these other folks uh, use the Bible to, to explain uh, all of these uh, uh, skeletons and all this other stuff. And they talk about the rocks being 50 billion years or all this stuff. See, man's a fool unto himself. Amen. Now, we so smart till we just stupid. Huh? But there are preachers that study this Bible in order to find loopholes. Did y'all know that? 
Therefore, they're teaching once in Christ and never out. Anybody that teach that, that's not God's man. Anybody that believe that, you're doomed because you believe the lie. Amen. Well, amen. Now, and God is too righteous not to send somebody your way to tell you the truth. But as I said, for me to go back to my mama's religion, that's a step down. Hey, man, now. Holiness is right. I don't quit, care which way you turn it. God is holy. The Bible is holy. And God's people, he demanded them to be what? Holy. Wait. And when they refused to be holy, what happened? See, they didn't think God was going to pay them off. Hey, man, then they told the preacher, I read, I read in Amos 5, they say uh, they, re, they hate him that rebukes him in the gate. In what gate? In what gate? Gate coming into the house of God and the one going out. Hey, Amen. Why don't you quit preaching all that? Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. That don't give people life. That make them scared of God. Wait a minute. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So fear is in order. You put fear in the people not to disobey God. And when they actually start walking in the truth, then they'll learn they love God. They love God so much until they want to don't, don't disobey God. Hey, I found it. I tried it in my life. That's the way it worked for me. Hey, man, now, I started living this thing. And my God, I fell in love with living this life here. Listen, I'm living good in the neighborhood. Y'all with me? Hallelujah. I got problems like everybody else, but my God, I got Bible to say that I can rap back on him. You'll be saying, man, huh? First Peter 5 and 7, I can cast all my care on him. And if he fix it, fine. If he don't, amen, that's fine. Hallelujah. One sure thing about it, I'm going to heaven. Hey, man, they repossess everything I got. Everything he gave me, I'm still going to heaven. Huh? If the banks go bankrupt, I'm still going to hell. Huh? Hey Amen. Now, if the stock market crash, I ain't got where I ain't got nothing off in there, no how. I'm still going to hell. Hey Amen. Truck drivers can, can understand this. I'm heaven bound with the hammer down. Whoa! Don't get in my way. I run over you. But better yet, get on the truck with me. We all go to heaven together. But ain't none of us going unless we live holy. You be sorry about. And he said, "Don't you worry about that bunch. Don't you worry about them. I'm a big mucking and mucking of the denomination, and praise God what I say go. And if you don't obey me, I'll put you out. How can you put the saints out of God? You can put them out of the denomination. I told y'all, before this thing is over with, <laughs> some of y'all ain't gonna make it." You can't stand the pressure. Amen. Hallelujah. You already think about leaving now because God didn't give you what you wanted. Amen. Y'all ain't talking to me. I'm reading you like a book. But sure enough, sure enough, where can you go when this same word you've been hearing all of these years is going to follow you? Huh? Hallelujah. Hey, I'm in your system now. <laughs> huh? Amen now. Amen. I'm in your system. Amen. And if you was to leave and go somewhere else and then something happens here, you know my pastor told me about that. Please don't tell your new pastor about your old pastor told you this. So some of them can't take it. Hallelujah. Amen. Read. Uh, 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 hold up. Come on back. Psalms 37. So Silas, I'm going to work y'all this morning. So Jesse, I'm going to work y'all this morning. All right. Praise the Lord. Am I going to need some help? Answer me. Am I going to need some help? Can y'all handle it? Hey, Amen. I want 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. I want 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want Isaiah Lee. Isaiah, you know, Isaiah 5. I want Isaiah 5 and 18. Hallelujah. Come on, Psalm 37. Tell them what verse you stop. Psalm 37, verse. Three. Read. Trust in the Lord and do good. And do what? Good. All right, he's telling you now that he's only going to accept what you do if it's good. And wait a minute. It, you can't be doing anything outside him because he ain't going to lead you to do wrong. Now, if loving her is wrong, 
I don't want to be right. You ain't right, you devil. But you better get right. Hallelujah. Listen, I read the first thing. I read in the scripture. He said, every sin that a man does is without the body. What does that mean? Every time you profess to be a Christian and you sin, you come off and up on that umbrella and anything can happen to you. Well, amen now. Shall I take the members of Christ and make them the members of a haunted God forbid? Why bless his name? Read. So shalt thou dwell in the land. And, and verily thou shalt be fair. Read. For delight thyself also in the land. And Lord. hold up him. All of them songs them old saints were saying. I get joy when I think about what he done for me. Uh, amen. Huh? All of them songs were birthed out of these scriptures here. And hey, y'all ain't got no scripture for what y'all saying. Well, there's one of them right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Now, the Bible says, amen, praise God, that we should, we should uh, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Huh? Amen. What does that mean? My body. My body. I'm not going to give anything my body. I'm not going to use my body to uh, dishonor God. Amen. amen. Now, I want 1 Corinthians chapter 6. I want 2 Richard chapter 2. No, excuse me. 2 Richard chapter 6 also. Read on. Come on, come on, come on. Delight thyself also in the Lord. Read. And he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. There are my prayers being answered right there. Well, amen not. Why? Because I'm not going to ask for anything outside of his will. Well, amen now. 1 John 5 14. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears, we know that we have our petition. But some of us are praying and God ain't studding us. I know that's country, but praise God, it's right. He ain't studding us. Why? Because your heart ain't with him. And when your heart ain't with him, why would he want to answer your prayer? Hey, Amen. Every night then, since Lorraine, he'll use the man because he's merciful. He'll use his man to pray for you and God will help you. So far, but he won't bring you all the way out. You know why? You know why? Because your heart ain't all the way with him. Hey, Amen now. He'll let you go so far and then he'll stop. Hey, Amen now. Delight thyself also in him, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Read. Five, commit thy way unto what the Lord. What did you say? Commit thy way unto the Lord. My God, First John 3 and 8, he that commits sin is of the devil. And before this cause, the Son of God will manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil in your life and my life. Amen, Amen now. Amen. And then he talks about how we can identify the sons of God and the sons of the devil. Last few verses in First John 3. I, I'm telling you, that's a short book, but my God, this man, he reads people like they need to be read. You hear me? Hallelujah. If you're going to fight, fight with him. Amen. Pray God. I thank God John was no punk either. Hallelujah. You don't you don't be quiet about that. Jesus say, man, we'll beat you on your back. Praise God. When they beat Peter and John on their back, praise God, they got the race and they couldn't wait to get back to what them saying were. My God, we took a beating in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. We took a beating. Well, amen now. Hey, the world can't, you can't wrap your mind around that. Why would somebody want to suffer for this Jesus? Well, if you suffer with me, you reign with me. He said it, he said it. But if you deny me, I'll deny you before my father. Come on, Matthew 10, 32. Hey, man, if you're ashamed to own me before my father, I'll be ashamed to own you before my God. If you're ashamed to own me before me, and I'll be ashamed to own you before God. Hey, Amen. Now, Psalms 37, read on. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Lead, you listen to this. Read. Six, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. Lord, have mercy. And they telling lies now. Telling lies. Hey, man, I thank God people lying on me. Hey, man, now. Hey, man. Somebody say the truth hurt, but since I know you're telling lies, why would I want to worry? They told a lie. Tell my pastor, that man, don't go over there. He beats his wife. And, when, and me and my wife, God fixed it when we was going through the community praying for folks. We never want to know that. But whatever's done in the dark, God brings to the light. And praise God, they, that woman said that. My, my wife mouth dropped. Mine did too. I said, my God, where did, how could they fix their mouth? Amen. But then I remember I used to preach on their sins when I was over there in that church. Hey, Amen. Nah, we're going to get back at him. Because we know if he split out, most of the saints over here are going to go with him. So we're going to tell lies. Hey, man, I'd have told more folks that's over there to stay over there while Pastor Ely was there. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Get mad. Hey, man, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I ain't got but one friend, that's Jesus Christ. And the only other one I got is my wife. 
Well, amen now. As long as I got them two, I believe I can make it. Hallelujah. I got a Jesus Christ that I can't see, yet he's in me, and then I got a wife that's got Jesus in her that I can see. To encourage me, keep on preaching, baby. I'm praying for you. And sure enough, I could have used the amen in, on Memorial Day too. Amen. I read. And thy judgment as the noonday. What is he saying now? They can lie on you, but I bring the truth to the, to the light. I bring it to the light to make them people to know that they are liars. But you'll shine as the light. That's what he called us, amen. That's what Jesus Christ called us. We are city sitting on the hill, amen. Men don't light a candle and put it on a bush. No, they put it on the candlestick so that those that are in darkness can see. And when they see the light, they start, hey, people in darkness going to draw to the light, amen. But notice the devil is trying to snuff our light out. Well, amen now. And you can't be no punk falling me. Oh, but Mother Marsha called punkhead. You ain't no punkhead. You can't be a punk or punkhead. Hallelujah. Amen now. It's good to get rough out sometimes. Y'all with me? The gospel is a hammer. It's like that God called that gospel sandpaper. Oh, hallelujah. Get you so amen. Pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. But if you just be humble and just lay down there, let him sand you off. How many ever saying something? Amen. Hallelujah. It was rough when you started, wasn't it? It was kind of hard to get that paper to go down there. Ah, but after a while, you just sailed down through that with ease. That's the way this thing is when it get in your heart. You may resist the word in some points and receive some of it in other points. But my God, after you done got over here and walked with the Lord a while, you start seeing like old Enoch, amen. My God, it's better to be with him than it is to be down here. Not knowing that God was reading his heart. You'll be sorry about God was reading his heart. And praise God, we find that boy in the book of Genesis. You know, there was 10 patriarchs. After Cain killed Abel, God sister, sister said, God gave Adam and Eve this boy named Seth. Seth was holy. Amen. Seth had Enos. Enos had, right on down the jam, right, it was 10 of them until they got down to Enoch. And my God, that man prayed. We wouldn't have known nothing about Enoch unless God showed us what kind of man he was in the book of Jude. Jude say Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied about this backslidden bunch that's off in God's house now. He prophesied about them, amen, self-will. He said, but I saw the Lord, amen, coming with 10,000 and thousands and thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all of the ungodly of all their, and to judge them of all their ungodly speeches that they ungodly committed them old holiness so them old holy rollers them old better lights <laughs> huh <laughs> they had a nickname for us they call us cranktified <laughs> I'm crunk I remember, remember that little old jack in the box, amen, pray God, that thing will sit down in there till you go so far, you whine and whine until my God, by the time you get to that land, now the, ah, go over to God, you can't push the saints down and they don't come up, you be beside that. That's why he said, don't worry about that bunch, you make sure you stay holy. It's right in here, it's right in here. Read. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Read. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his That's way. That's what I want right there. I went the long way around to get right there. Don't you worry about him that prospers in whose way? His way. In whose way? His way? Hey, the children of this world are wiser than the children of the light. Did y'all know that? Jesus said it. Jesus said it. They got more schemes and conniving. Why? Because they can suck the world because they're of the world. Hey, if you're of the world, the world loves its own. But praise God. Ain't nowhere in the world I'll open up my 401k and give some knothead that's got a pyramid scheme like one of the churches did in this persuasion. Amen. See, you do things against the preacher, God's man, and then God show you for what you are. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know where they at now, but sure enough, Whatever God was in him, God done departed. Hey, they might well put Ichabod over the door. God done left the building. Amen, huh? God done left the building. Amen, now. 
got people talking about to swear their allegiance to you. Come down and bow down before me. Is you a fool or what? I ain't even the Old Testament God wasn't going for that mess. You shall not make unto you any graven image. You shall not bow down to any graven image or any flesh and blood that you made. Why? I'm the Lord your God. I'm a jealous God. Hey, I'm jealous too. Amen. I ain't going to say what I do if, well, I'll leave that alone. That ain't going to help you nor me. Hey, man. Don't worry about them who's prosper in their way. Read and bring evil, wicked devices. Read. Because of the man who brings his wicked devices to pass. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Hey, we got it going on. I hear you, but where you going? We got it going on. All right, I'm, I'm going to make a whole bunch of folks mad now. Everybody that's caught up in this new technology, my God. God don't want us dumb, but God don't want us to be slaves either. And praise God, every new phone come out. Well, I got to get a Troy there. See, the devil, they sat back in these rooms, and they, they it's advertising, folks. Y'all with me? Everything that bring you in bondage, God is not pleased with. I use anything as long as it's, amen, praise God. I don't use it as an idol. Are y'all with me? You ain't even had the one you got for a month. Now you want to change to this other, this new God that they got. Y'all ain't talking to me. Hallelujah. And after you spend your money trying to keep up just the Edna with the Joneses, you spend yourself in bankruptcy and got enough nerd. Can the church help me? No, no, no. I'm telling you that right up front. Man, ask me, talking about praise God. Can you help me get my son out of jail? No, sir. Hey, that Negro grown and big. He was grown enough to get in there. Let him get himself out of there. Y'all ain't talking to me. No, that's not what the church is for. Hallelujah. So they talk bad about me. They had to come right back around to ask for prayer. Hallelujah. And then when God let him out, amen, I told him, I said, you better make your way down to Bethel. I'm coming. I'm coming where he ain't showed up yet. And they right back in trouble. I said, oh, my God. Hey Amen. You think I'm going coming to see you again? Dave, don't hold your breath. You won't be around here. Lord, have mercy now. Listen, I got my hand full of y'all that halfway want to live right. That's right. I said right. Halfway want to live right. You keep hanging around me, pray God. You're going to root hog or die poor. Hey, amen, now. Nah. may sound funny, but it ain't funny. Hey, every tough guy stand on his own bottom. Hallelujah. Every one of us got an answer to God for ourselves. Hey, amen, now. Nah. So what we do, we better weigh it up whether or not God is pleased with it or not. Why? Because nobody wins. Hallelujah. Rome 14, 11. I want that too. All right. That's good right there. That's good right there. I want 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. I want 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 1. Amen. Now, nah. there's a such a thing as the day of the Lord. Are y'all with me? The day of the Lord and the rapture are not the one and the same. When he comes for the church, no devil's going to see him. No, no, <laughs> unsafe. The world won't see him when he comes for the saints. That's why Paul encouraged the saints in that first Thessalonians. You know, Lord himself, First Thessalonians 4, 16, the Lord himself going to descend from heaven with a shout, only the saints are going to hear that shout. With the trouble of God, the voice of the archangels, and the dead in Christ going to rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. But my God, he gets us talking about that bunch that came back behind him telling him, hey, look here, don't be looking for no rapture. Ain't that what they're telling us now? Yeah. Can't find rapture in the Bible. Well, you can find the catching away. Huh, don't be looking for that. The church, if the church is going to go through the tribulation. The Bible don't teach that. But praise God, church folks that's in the church going to go through that ain't living right. All right, read. 2 Corinthians 2 Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 1, Sister Allen. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus notice, Christ. The, notice what you're reading. I don't believe in the rapture. We're going to find it right in here. Where he talks about gathering us to read the and book. And by our gathering together unto him. By our gathering together unto him. Now when he say I, well who could he possibly be talking about? The saints. The saints. Everything that belongs to Jesus Christ. Hey, Amen now. And he said what? I beseech you. I'm begging y'all. Don't you get caught up with the world. 
Well, amen now. Read. Two. That ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled. Neither by spirit. My nor God, by wait word. a minute. It wasn't it Paul that said if me or uh, if I go somewhere and backslide and come preach another Jesus or an angel from you know not notice now. Angel from heaven. You know he can't be talking about the angels in God's heaven. An angel in this atmosphere come as an angel of light and start telling you that praise God, I'm Jesus. And, and the Jesus that you got before ain't the real Jesus. Huh? He said, let him be a curse. What is he saying there? You watch what you hear. You pay attention to the people that's talking to you. I watch people's life. Talk is cheap. Amen. I'm watching how you living. I know folks didn't like it. Amen. Praise God a few years ago when I start rebuking the preachers. Because they wanted to bring the folks in bondage. Obey them to have a rule over you. Quote half the verse. But the other half of that verse say, considering the end of your conversation. I want to know where you're going. If you're going to hell, I ain't going to let you take me to hell. Better yet, I'm not going to follow you to hell. You'll be beside us. Man got two wives and talking about he a prophet. Don't, I don't want to hear it. Hallelujah. Man, I want you laying hands on me either. Amen. You got a double spirit. I don't want that thing on me. Amen. Read the book. Now by letter, ask you better prayer. watch who line you prayer line you get into too. Hallelujah. Amen. Men like that and women carry familiar spirits with them. Amen now. And if you're not spiritually minded, they'll show they'll tell you things. But notice, however you living will determine whether they right or wrong. Because if they if you living in the gutter. And they tell you how God going to bless you. You know that ain't God's man. You know that ain't God's woman. Why? Because every prophet that God ever sent, they had a double-bladed axe in their mouth. A two-ass sword. And praise God, the people didn't like it either. Amen. Now, and they weren't trying to be like. Well, amen now. Hey, start with Enoch. Jude said Enoch was a prophet. Then he talked about Noah, a preacher of righteousness. God never left himself without a witness. From the time Set came on the scene, God had a witness. And wait a minute. The folks had to know about worshiping God because my God, who's going to pass it down to the others? So we know Set had to be a worshiper of God. Amen now. And on down till we got to know every single one of them was worshiping God. How else can you explain Noah after God? Let that water come back down. The man hit the thing landing on Ararat and the first thing he did when God let him out that ark, he built an altar. Y'all with me? Amen. Now, where did he get that from if it wasn't passed down from his pappy? Amen. Well, amen. Hey, I know it. You know, I've been reading for years. I ain't been able to I just put it together for you. Amen. A lot of y'all been coming here, praise God. You learn more about God's word. Amen. <laughs> been in church all your life. Amen. I ain't bragging. There ain't no bragging. That's just fact. Hallelujah, and you're learning more right now. Read! As that the day of Christ is at hand. Read! Let no man deceive you by what? Wait anything. a minute. If he's warning you against men deceiving you, that let me know one thing. Second Timothy 3.13, evil men and seducers is going to get worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Come on, uh, I believe it's Second Corinthians chapter 11. He talks about false apostles. Deceit for workers. Transforming themselves into the apostle of Christ. We're there now. We ain't getting that. We're there now. Some of everything got a word of prophecy now. Read. But that day shall not come. Except there, there come a falling away first. And that may Back all up. A backslide from the faith. Jude 1, he told us to earnestly contend for the faith. For there are certain men who have crept in among us. And now they ain't creeping. The first bunch crept in. This other bunch, we're inviting them in. Ordaining them. Hallelujah. If your pocketbook big enough. I said if your pocketbook big enough. Don't write me. Don't waste 35 cents. Because I ain't going to change. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. The son and he can man. only be revealed after there's a great falling away. Notice. Notice. Amen. A falling away when? First. First. Then he got to be revealed. But notice, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, the saints are going to be gone. 
Amen. Read on. Who opposing and exalt himself above all that is called God. And who are we called? The children of God. So they go for you and they go for me. He opposes us. But my God, when the church is gone, the only one he's going to have to come against is them 244,000 Jews that's going to get saved and accept Jesus Christ and become evangelists. Well, amen now. Yes, sir. I thank God for my Jewish brothers. They ain't no punks. Cowards around here, amen. Pray. I, you know, I don't want to start any trouble. I don't want people not to like me. Luke 6 and 46. Wow! Unto you, when all men of men speak well of you. You know, people that's in authority try to use you. Did you know that? See? See? You're revealing all our secrets. I shall. Hallelujah. Got to take care of the man of God. Hey, are you with me? We got to take care of the man of God. You got to give your last. Hallelujah. And I said it before, I want to hear it again. If you really had God in your preaching, why are you going to preach it? I pray you may pray God because I'm one. You may give me a bad name. If you really had God on you, then if they did give you something, you hold out at least half of it and help them poor folks in your church. Read. Our daddy's worship. So but you ain't going to do it. Why? Because you got this spirit right here. Amen. Now, wait a minute. Hold up here. Hold up. John warned us in 1 John. He said, y'all know that that spirit of Antichrist is already in the world. 1 John chapter 2, it's in your book. Yeah. That's, you heard of that Antichrist spirit should come and even now is it already in the world. Yeah. Now, you think these folks in change? You think the devil in change? Anybody that will yield to him, he'll use them. Right. Now, baby. Read. So that he has God sitting in the temple of God, showing Himself himself that, that he, he is, God. is God. Read. Remember ye not that yeah. when I was yet with you, I, I told, told you these things. things. And now ye you know, know what's holding. You know what's holding them back. The only thing that's holding them back is the saints of God right here, right now. Y'all with me? Everybody looking at me. The church is the, is the restraining agent that God is using right now. If we wasn't here, that dog would have a free call. Why? Because one of them be talking about Jesus. He ain't scared of you. He ain't scared of me. He's scared of Jesus. Therefore, he's trying to stop everybody that belongs to him. Why bless his name? Or get you caught up in something. They got you so busy. You're so busy about what your little problems and all of this. Until my God, you ain't got time to witness. Ain't going to fast. I ain't going to pray. Read the book. For the mystery of iniquity does I read And that dog, is, he was working in his day, Lee, and he's still working. And here's the sad fact. He's working through people that mean well. Hey, man. Hey, man. There are organizations that help people. Did y'all know that? That don't give a flip about this, this that we read right here. Hey, man, now. Hallelujah. Read. Only he who now let it will let it. Now he who uh, now let it is the church that's holding him back. We're going to hold him back until we be taken out the way. Amen. That's the Holy Ghost using the church. He is the Holy Ghost. The body that he's using is the saints mm -hmm. to spread the gospel. But once he takes the Holy Ghost, you, you really think he's going to take the Holy Ghost out of there without taking the church out? No, sir. Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you'll reign with me. But when, I, when your job here is complete, then I got 144,000 Jews, Israelites, that don't even know they're going to be witnessing. Remember now, I always got a remnant. Amen. Of the seed of Jacob. I got a remnant. Hallelujah. 144. You read Revelation. My God. Amen. I saw it. Amen. Pray God. Hallelujah. That, that they, uh, The angel... He, the voice of God told them four angels to hold the four winds back until the servants of the God be sealed in their foreheads. And I saw the number of them, 144,000 from every tribe. But don't nobody know where the tribe of is, the Israel is, the lost tribe, but they ain't lost because God know where they at. Yeah. Amen now. Yeah. And when it come time, he going to bring them out. My God, every tribe, they may praise God, 12,000. Huh? 12,000. Holy Ghost filled preachers. The only time the Holy Ghost is going to come back is to anoint, you know, that seal. See, you, 
he's given us his holy promise to seal us until the day of redemption. Y'all with me? You see how we tied in? Huh? He's going to seal them with the Holy Ghost. Amen now. And you think I'm trying to preach. I say trying to preach. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Them sidetracks I be taking won't be no sidetrack. Amen. They're going to tell it like it go. Hallelujah. And they're going to make his butt chap. Y'all with me? Uh, Y'all with me? If you so gross, that's all right. That's all right. If you fight, amen, break. If you're a fighter, then you can understand my speech. Hey, man. Any of y'all ever got raw? My God, he's going to make his butt raw. Amen. By putting his boot up his butt. Woo! Put a boot up his butt. Try to kick him around, rough him up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all, you know, the Holy Ghost is just sweet. You better wake up. And wait a minute, God warned us not to blaspheme him either. Yes. Amen. Read. Hey, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom, whom the, the Lord, Lord shall consume with the spirit, spirit of his mouth. mouth. His what? Wait a minute. In Revelation, he said, got a sharp to his sword going out of his mouth. When John seen him in Revelation 1, he had a sharp to his sword. That's his word. And he'll speak a word. <sighs> and hell up. Hey, man. Where y'all at? All right. All right, that's good. That's good right there. Now, uh, what I give y'all? Strike that. I want Isaiah five eighteen. Here's the mindset of men now, dressed in a little brief authority. We gonna do what we wanna do. We gonna act like we wanna act. We gonna treat people like we wanna treat people. Cause God is with us. If He wasn't with us, He wouldn't. He wouldn't have gave us our position. Isaiah 5, 18. Read. Woe unto them. Why? Why? Call up him. Now, when God say woe, that means grief and suffering. Somebody finna go down. Read. Woe unto them. Woe unto them that draw iniquity, cause, and sin. Sister Sandra, they sin. As it were a cart As it rope. were a cart rope. Y'all with me? All right. Somebody shout clarification. Somebody shout clarification. He's talking about them sinning without a conscience. You, you do one thing and the Holy Ghost start convicting you. And then you do something else and he start convicting you. And then finally you do what you do and he won't say a word. Proverbs chapter 1, I'm going to let you eat of the fruit of your own way. Huh? I call you refuse. I stretch out my hand. You say, get back. I ain't ready to get saved yet. No, sir. I ain't ready yet. I ain't sinned enough. Oh, amen now. Hallelujah. Read. Let's say, let him make speech. Let God do what he did. If he's if he doing anything, let him come on and do something. If he think he cannot do us. Read. And hasten his work that we may see it. No, have mercy. Wait, wait. Wait now. Since he said, this kind of trying to preach for me. You know you're a fool now. God, I'll take on. I'll take you on. Come on. Amen now. Hallelujah. That fellow that's out there in that boat. Here I am, God. Here I am, God. God said, I see you. Boom. That's it. That's what happened. Notice that man dropped straight in the hell. Y'all with me? Hey, in our life, that that's what, about 10 years ago? And God had somebody on the banks to witness this. Amen. Whatever he had in him, he wish he had now. He, he couldn't have been thinking right. All right? They challenging God. If God could do so much, let him come on. All right? He coming on. Now read. And let the counsel of the Holy One of Lord have mercy. Let, 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 let him try to tell us what to do. Y'all know what counsel is. Instructions. Amen. Read. That we may know it. Read. Woe unto them. Woe unto them that call evil, evil good. good. And good evil. Read. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Wait a minute. Y'all ain't got it. We got it. Amen. We got the word. We got the word. Well, pull your pants off then. Amen. Woman. Amen. 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 See, I thought the church of God in Christ had, had sweetened up a little bit. Well, they ain't going to have to answer for you. Amen now. Nah. Amen. 
Pull your pants out one. We got the weight. We got the weight. Yeah, but you ain't doing nothing with it. It's rolling off you like water off a duck back. Read the book. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Oh, God didn't mean that. God love everybody. That's you talking. Psalm 7 and verse 11, God judged the righteous, but he's angry with the wicked every day. Now, how can you be wicked without understanding who God is? You can't do it. So he's talking about people that got pride knowledge of who God is, says Mother Red. Amen. Read. 21. Warn to them that are to wise them. in their own eyes. Lord, have mercy. Come on here. I got a DD, a PhD, a FFD, a FFLFD, a double, triple D. Hey man, Isaiah 56 and 10 call you a dumb dog that can't even bark. Greedy dogs that can't get enough. Right. Hello, you preachers. Read. And prudent in their own sight. Pastor, ain't you scared? Somebody might come by your house and do something to you. I got folks that's around my house 24 right, 7. You don't, you don't see them until you try to do something. Amen. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, see, and the only key is, I got one key. That key is to fear the Lord. The Psalm 34, verse 7, the angels of the Lord encamp round about them that. Amen. I never would have known what was going on, Lee, until we left him one Sunday in April a few years ago. They had 27 tornadoes coming through. <laughs> and we got to the house. It was a beautiful day, beautiful day. And God, wait till we got to the house. We had been there maybe about five minutes, and it got dark as night around there. And my wife turned on that boob tube. And my God, they say, y'all take cover. They coming. We still, I got four witnesses, right? Well, really, my nephew and them next door, all them, they, went, they didn't witness it until after the fact. But I got four, three witnesses, and count, four count me, that we stood in our living room, held hands, and prayed for God's protection. And when that thing, it didn't take it but a few minutes to go over. And when the dust was settled, about 15 minutes later, there was a knock on the door. Selena came over there and said, hey, Uncle Don, can we borrow some candles? We ain't got no candles. <laughs> yeah, but uh, she said, you know y'all the only one on this street that got lights? I say, what? you know what I mean. I wouldn't call it no lie. I had to see for myself. And I looked out, went outside, looked down that way. What the street lights was out? Y'all with me? That that po the emergency lights? No, the street lights was out. I looked down on the other end. Ain't a, you can't see nothing. Just pitch black. The community on the other side, pitch black. My neighbor in the back of me. We on the same transformer. Now you answer me this. Nobody in the back of us got lights. My brother-in-law next door ain't got no lights. I say, my God, we got a we got an Egypt thing all over again. My God, God said darkness down there to show us he who he is. Amen. Pray God, but when I see the blood, I pass over you. Hey. We don't say about if I'm lying, I'm dying. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I got witnesses. Hey, Amen. And boy, I caught a step. <laughs> Woo! I said, my God, God with us. Amen. The hallelujah, God with us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wait a minute. I ain't no better than nobody else. I just had little enough sense to cast my care over on the Lord. Huh? Hey, I can't do nothing with that thing, and I wasn't going to try to get out of my house to try to tell it to go some other way. No, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. I may look dumb, Sister Lorraine, but I ain't dumb as I look now. Hallelujah. Amen now. Praise the Lord. Amen, Roy. Hallelujah. Now, yeah, there are some things I ain't going to tangle with. Read. 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine. Lord, have mercy. If I could, well, now I'm going to leave that alone. Because, amen. I had a man. <laughs> amen. He couldn't preach unless he was drunk. He preached it. Amen. Come up in the poor pit drops. My God, now you know I ain't gonna let him get away with that. <laughs> Amen. Now he may have called me all kind of ends, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. He never asked me to come preach for him. No, he, hallelujah. 
You know, God got a way of making people tell off on themselves. We back in the back room, and he talking about he go set up at the bar with his, one of his deacons and all. I said, my God, I told y'all Friday, a lot of things I be telling y'all about, I, I know what I'm talking about. My, and while he was telling me that, I said, and the Holy Ghost said, get him. I said, I sure will, Lord. Hey, Amen. And when I stepped up there, praise God. Here's one witness right here. My daughter and them, I think they was kind of young. But when I gave that altar call, that man was so hot and mad. He was too scared to do anything. Hey, Amen. But he was so hot and mad until, and the altar was full on Mother's Day. I mean, the thing was jam-packed, and I'm thinking the man might at least come down and hold the oil for me. <laughs> but he got on the microphone and told the folks, leave you off and y'all that's got to go. I said, my God, my God, trying to get back at me. And praise God, a few months later, they got rid of him. Amen now. Hallelujah. See, well, all I'm saying is, let men do what they do. Every one of us got a day with destiny. Romans 14, 11, I want that right now. I wrote Romans 14, 11, I want 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Romans 14 and verse 11. Brother, that's you with me. Romans 14 and verse 11. For it is written. For it is written. Where in this Bible here? As I live, says the as Lord. As I live, says the Lord, Lee. Every knee shall bow every to me. What? Every knee shall bow to me. Read. And every tongue shall confess to God. Read. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Act all up. A.K.A. Nobody win but God. Everybody meets right there. Right there. Second Corinthians 5 and verse 10. Read. For we must all appear before uh, the Lord. Hold up, hold up. We who? Oh. We what? Oh, must all. We all must. And a must with God is a must. Oh, Read. For we, we all must for we appear all before the, the judgment seat of Christ. For what? That everyone may receive. Every who? Everyone. May, may receive the things done in his body. Whether they be. According to that he has done. Whether it be good or bad. Wait. Wait a minute. Who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? The, the church. The saints. Wait a minute, pastor. Wait a minute. If I got saved, what I got to stand chopping for? What you did with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, yeah, you do. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. You know, I would work in the church, but ain't nothing to do. You was a liar. Amen. Amen. God opened the door. I, 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 I say this with trouble in my heart. It Just about every ministry God had given me to start it, I was looking for somebody to step in and take it up, and nobody would step up to the plate. Amen. God give me to do something, and then I can't do whatever else he tell me to do because I ain't got nobody to step in and take this over. Nobody's never had a problem with pastor messing with them when they're appointed to do something. Amen now. We ain't had no four or five Sunday school superintendents. I was thinking on yesterday about Mother Collin. When we first started, our Mother Collin was everything. Sunday school teacher, secretary, YPWW, Bible band teacher, this one. Amen now. Mind you, she wasn't no 16 year old either. But she read somewhere in them scriptures that whatsoever your hand find to do, you do it with all of your might. And I said, my God. Now, I could have pointed my wife, but my wife kind of like me. She's trying to give, hey, man, my wife been in this thing a while. And she's trying to give all of them that want to work a chance to work. And by the way, the secret in that is I ain't going to let nobody kill her. Amen. 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 I learned. <laughs> Amen. You delegate authority. That's why I'm trying to train some of these deacons, amen, to take up what brother, I want brother Lester around here a little while. Amen. Hey, man, now. Brother Lester, I'm giving you your props now. Amen. I want you around here a little while. Amen. Hey, man. Hallelujah. The man go and go and go and go. I said, my God, I showed up, I'll be praying for him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I need him. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. And Sister Collins said, And the man asked me different things and stuff. Pastor, what you think about this? I said, hey, man, pray God. That's who you are, who you are. Hey, man, you make the decision. Hey, man, and if you get in a slump, then you come see me. 
Amen. If you delegate authority, you ought to have a little enough sense to let those people go. You got to grow up sometime. Read. 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade. We men, Read. But we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your country. Lord, have mercy. Now, we done made this thing real clear and simple to y'all. So I trust ain't nobody that came in to deceive you and telling you that you got it going on when you ain't and come in with another gospel. Amen now. Amen. 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 I, I'm telling you, this thing, I want 1 Peter chapter 1. All the other verses I gave you, we'll, you, we'll strike them for right now. I want 1 Peter chapter 1. Give me that 13th verse. Gird up the loins of your mind and be sober and hope unto the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Ain't that the way it reads? First, first Peter 1, 13. Amen. Give me that 14 verse. Read. As obedient children. As what? Obedient children. Not faster than yourselves. Yourself according to the former lust in your, your ignorance. Ignorance. 15. Not ignorant. Ignorant. <laughs> Read. 15. But as he which has called you is holy, read the so book. Be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because what? Because it is written. Where is it written? Be ye holy, for I am holy. Read. And if you call on now, the Father, now here's the warning right here. Because because we gotta stand before him, we gotta meet him. Amen. Hallelujah. All of us like games. Amen. Amen. All of us like games. Okay, if it's checkers or whatever, if you played any game in your life, sister Lil Rain, mother Lil Rain, didn't you play to win? Amen. Didn't you not? Amen. You didn't play let them win. You played to win. We used to play marbles. Amen. Praise God. I got in more fights. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. But praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I kept my marbles. <laughs> you hear me? Hallelujah. I cheated too, but I kept my mom fighting. Amen. Pray with her. Leave that Negro alone. And he liked to fight. I don't want to play no marble with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You play my you play by my rule. Alright, alright. Y'all played the win though, didn't you? You played the win. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. A winner and a loser. Hey man. And in this case, ain't but one gonna win in this. And them that's fallen him. Y'all remember we used to Amen choose teams. Amen. Praise God. And you didn't want to play on no team, nobody didn't know what they doing. I I hate that. Tell the truth, stay saved. Y'all don't mind me sweating no. <laughs> Preach it to you. Amen. I tried to get on the team with had at least two good ones. So then, amen. That way we got a halfway chance to win. All right. <laughs> Read on. 17. And if you call on the Father with that respectable, respectable person. Respect of persons. Judge according he to does every what? man's work. He does what? Judges according to every man's work. Now, your works is what's going to determine. <laughs> Amen. Listen, if any man, uh, other foundation can no man lay but that which is made. If any man be alone this, this foundation, wood, hair, stubble, his, the wood, hair, and the stubble going to be burned up. His works are going to be tried by fire. Now, here's the key. You remember what Peter said in 1 Peter 4? If the righteous scarcely be saved, if he be saved by the hair of his chinny chin chin, that's what he's taught. He's given, uh, amen, clarity to that right here. Read. Pass the time of your soldier. Wait a minute. If you call on the father who that's going to judge every man's what? Pass then pass the time of your soldier on here and feel and doing what God tell you to do. Why are in this book? Amen. Sorry about this, Suzanne. Read on. 18. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed, redeemed with corruptible, with corruptible things, things, as silver and gold. Can you buy your salvation, Lee? Huh? Matthew 16, verse 24. What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? What can you give in exchange for your soul? What can you give God? What can you give him? Uh, let's make a deal. No, sir. No, sir. No bargain. Hey, I read in Nahum, he said he will not at all acquit the wicked. Tell my church folks. Amen. Now, 
I mean, why do you say church folks all the time? Because the church folks have been exposed to the truth and got a mind, and, you know, God said, that'll do. Lordy, I hear you. Amen. You know, I love, come on. Lord. The Lord, he heard my cry. Uh, uh, child of God, I can't even live right then. Ah, say your prayer, son. Say your prayer. No, he can't say nothing. Hey, man, that's, that nigga teen got it. Read. From your vain conversation received by tradition from, from your, your pappy, your mammy, your pappy. I bone this out there. You go ahead. You can do it. Try it now. Try it now. See where you wind up. You heard what he said in that, that 15 to 16 verse, but it's he which is called you is Holy, you can be whatever you want to be. You just ain't going to help. Read. 19, but with the precious blood of Christ. Read. As, as of a, a lamb, lamb without spot and, and blemish. Read. 20, for verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world. All right, you in First Peter, you skip over to Second Peter 2. Give me that right now. Oh, pastor, I thought we was going to get a little salmon to hit. No, I hear you. I hear you. 2 Peter 2 1. Read. But there were false prophets among the people. Lord, have mercy. Even as there shall be false teachers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eric, hold up him. Go back to 1 Peter. Stay right there and then go back to 1 Peter. What verse you stopped at? Huh? Give me that 21st verse. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse. Okay, give me that 22nd verse. No, give me the 21st verse. 121. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory. All right, now skip down, skip down, skip down. Skip down a couple verses. 23. Being born again, not a corruptible seed, but an incorruptible by the word of God. Read. Which liveth and abideth forever. That's good. I want that right now. Come on back, Second Peter. Come on back, Second Peter. Y'all take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Come on. Take a deep breath. Come on. Come on. Take a deep breath. Second Peter 2 1. Read. But there were false prophets also Even as there the shall be false teachers among you. Ain't that the way it read? Read. Who probably shall bring who in. Who probably, who sneaky, who underhanded shall bring in down the Baharisees. Even, even denying, denying the, the Lord, Lord that bought them. Read. And bring up on themselves swift destruction. Wait a minute. Nobody gets by. Nobody gets away. Nobody wins. Read. And many shall follow their, their pernicious, pernicious their ways. destructive and deceptive way. Read. By reason of whom the, the way, way of truth. truth now, wait a minute. What is the way of truth? Up. What is the way of truth? They'll speak evil of Jesus Christ and the life that he demands those that follow him to live. I, didn't, I don't believe you can live holy. Can't nobody live perfect? That's you talking. But when he saved us, Mother Red, he put us on the road to perfection. He said, walk therein. And as you walk in perfection, you'll find out that things that would hinder you are move right on out the way. You move, my way. God ain't going to move them. You move them. Amen. That's why he gave us the Holy Ghost to move things out of our way. Amen. Now, Matthew 5, 48, I guess we can tear that out then. You know, be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is. I guess we can tear that out. Wait, wait, some one of y'all got second Corinthians, don't you? Chapter six, and one of y'all got second Corinthians chapter seven too, don't you? All right, don't worry about that. We're gonna come back to that. Read. And through covenant shall they with fame. Fain words, words make merchandise. Why well, bless his name? Why well, bless his name? Let's be let's have a few bake sales. Car washes. Amen now. Hallelujah. Get to the man of God. Hallelujah. You know the Lord will bless you. If you want to be blessed. Give to the man of God that lazy thing. He better get him a job. Hallelujah. If a man don't work, he all not eat. That's what my Bible said. Didn't say whether it's a pew member. He didn't make no decision whether you're a preacher or pew member if a man. And if you don't know you're a man or not, find your local mirror. Pull your pants down. If you got a tool, you're a man. Why bless his name? Hallelujah. Y'all ain't got to like it. I know one day I'm freezing myself happy. I'm getting that weight off me. Read. Who judgment? 
Now for a long time. Leave it not. And their damnation slumbers. Lord, have mercy. They're going to be damned. God, y'all have said time for that too. Nobody wins but God. Read. For if God spared not the angels that Lord, sin, have mercy. Lee, you with me? Lee, you with me? You with me? Are you hearing this? Them. Wait a minute. They were swinging out, licking on one of men with men, licking on one another. Huh? Tonguing one another. Hey, amen. Feeling on one another. Hallelujah. And the script says, hey, amen, they, that, uh, they vexed Lot's righteous soul. Hey, amen. If Lot had, had a little enough sense not go down there, he wouldn't have to worry about it. Come on here. But the, his greed got a hold of him. All that green grass and all these cows I got, boy, we got it. Come on. And he told Abraham, give me that right there. You said whichever way I go, you go the opposite. Give me that right there. He didn't know, praise God, that everything he had, he was a result of him hanging around the man of God. My God, amen, pray God. Sometimes people hang on you like a leech and God has to pull them out. Well, amen now. Notice he didn't give, he didn't give Abraham Isaac until he got rid of Lot. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Read. But cast them down to hell and delivered them into changes of dark. Now watch this. To be reserved unto judgment. Read. And spared not the old world, but saved no the eight Now persons. notice now he's warning us. Amen. He said if, if there were false prophets among the people, there should be false teachers among you. Ain't that what's going on now? I'm not painting the picture to you. I'm showing you something that is plain as a nose on your face. It's as plain as a nose on your face. Some kind of teaching. Some, amen now. Uh, uh, the prayer of Jabez. Y'all remember, boy, they made big money off of that. They sure did. The prayer of Jabez wasn't no more saved, amen, than this handkerchief I got him. Hallelujah. And then when he prayed, he didn't ask for nothing spirit. He asked for something. But tell, well, amen now. Remember Elijah and the widow woman. Well, amen, pray Elijah, amen, pray God. Uh, Elijah had a little enough sense to serve God. He wasn't trying to get nothing. God just gave it to him. You see what I'm saying? God fed him. God clothed him. God helped him. Amen. And then we see what kind of spirit he had because John the Baptist came along. The Bible declared that John the Baptist came in the spirit and power of Elijah. Now, was he dressed in a three-piece suit? Somebody answer me. Huh? Did he have a nice robe on? No. Amen. He got a camel's hair. Amen. Praise God. The old boy didn't have a, no sense of fashion, did he? Ah, but what was in his mouth brought conviction. You'll be shy about yeah. it. brought conviction. And that's the God. That's the God of the book. Any man he sent, they gonna he gonna send him with the with the word of conviction. Read. A preacher, a righteous. A, a what? A preacher, a righteous. Read. Bringing in the flood upon, upon the, the world of the ungodly. Read on, read on. And turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Read. Condemned them with an overthrow. Making, making them, an example, them an example. Unto those that act. Hold up. God love the lesbian. These two women. Boy, they, that boy, they know how to see. Marketing is everything. Image is everything. We're going to show two rough looking women with a Dutch boy. Don't talk to me. Y'all know what a Dutch boy haircut is? Yeah, you cut it off like a man, put a little tail in the back. Amen. Now nah. they ain't gonna put nothing like that on that low range. So low range, they gonna get two of these gals look like moths, tongue in one another. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> boy, this is why. This is why you yeah. get get that nigga off. That. Get that nigga off of that. Amen. He, amen. Get that nigga off the radio. Get him off TV. Get that nigga off of there. Amen now. I don't like the N-word. Amen. You know that's what they call us. And when I run across your, your doorstep, amen, you get married when you call me one too. Hallelujah. See, y'all ain't fooling me. I know everybody smiling at me don't like me. I know everybody off here don't like me either. But amen, all of us can't work him. And, and since I'm a big dog, amen, I believe he left me in charge. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Since all of us can't work out, let the dough hit you. Read. Making them an example unto those that he have the children of God. He Making made them, them an example. Wait, wait. Y'all y'all know I've been saying all, I don't want God to use me. Not like that. I'm going to make you an I'm gonna, amen, I'm going to make an example. You, no, you won't. No, you won't. I'm going to obey you, Lord. No, sir. Hallelujah. Hey, you know, when I get to thank and pray God about God and how powerful he is and how I ought to obey him, cold chill run up my backbone. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. I said, God, please. I was praying. Uh, my Lorraine, my Lorraine, I had in my mind this morning, and since he wouldn't let me go to sleep, I started praying what I read in the book of something. Lord, trust me, try me. See if that be any, I don't know why you ain't let me go to sleep, but search me, try me. See if that be any wicked way in me. Amen. Get it out of me, Lord. I don't want nothing in me that, ain't, that you ain't put in me. Please, Lord, please. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a good thing to pray when you, when you can't figure out what's going on. One sure thing about it, you know whether you done did wrong or not. Amen now. Nah. Praise God. I, I'm covering all bases. Amen, Lord. I don't know what's going on, but please, don't let me don't let me die. Hey, Amen. If anything wrong, don't let me die. Let me live for you. Yeah. And then I just I said, Lord, I'm going to thank you on all the sleep. So he let me get about 15 minutes. Then he woke me up for the broadcast. I said, my God. Hey, Amen. Boy, he, he a big shot. He sub somebody. I said, my God. I don't know how I'm going to drive down there. Much less preach. Well, I already went overtime on y'all. Amen. Still ain't through. Read. Those that should ask will live ungodly. Read. Yeah. And deliver just like that. That's with the, the filthy, filthy conversation. conversation of the now, if he call it filthy, then is it has it changed? No. Read. For that Can't you see man, these bunch of men? Bring that man. bring them men out that we just seen coming to your house. Bring them out that we may know them. Amen. Now. We want to have sex with the angels of God. <laughs> My God, now. Nah. Hallelujah. But they were so far out there until God had stepped on the scene and they didn't know it. Hey, Amen. And that's the condition. My God. My God. Lot lost more going down that than he ever had in his life. His two daughters was hoes. Amen. The ones that, that came out. Amen, now. Nah. Hallelujah. That spirit of Sodom had got into them. Amen. Now, hey, y'all don't like it. I don't even like to read it, but it's in there. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, see, wine is still a mock, a strong drink of raging. Any man that's a seed by these is not why they just not start taking a drink, Sister Edna, when they get through a term. Oh, come on here. That's what they show you on the TV. When they get out of some, or they get out of some kind of trouble, they break open the Chevy's Regal. We finna get stupid. Yes, we are. Huh? Pour me a drink, man. Hallelujah. Uh, Y'all ain't talking to me. That's right. Amen. Then the guy that up there. Ah, that's that dog on the inside. I heard that thing on the inside of you. Pray God, we ain't got to send it. I told y'all, amen, on last Sunday, you can be in a car wreck, amen, praise God. This bunch, about five or six folks in the car with you, in the car, amen, wreck and kill everybody in there, and God let you, he spare your life, and the first thing you'll say is not, God, I love you, I praise you. Thank you for sparing my life. No, I was just lucky. Just lucky. Child, you so lucky. I was at when I was working at a certain place. This girl, Amen. Pray God, poor God. God had her. He scared this girl so bad she lost her bodily function. You hear me? Hallelujah. And God had me in the break room when they came in there. And they was talking, and, I, and God let you hear things. You know what I mean? And the girl that was talking to us, uh, uh, Julia said, uh, well, well, "Well, you saved, ain't you? You confessed Jesus, ain't you?" She said, she was honest. She said, I don't know. But she, you did confess Jesus and join church. Yeah, I said, ah, hold up here. Confessing Jesus don't mean you saved. Hallelujah. It's the life you live after that to let you know whether you got the real deal or not. Amen now. And this preacher that smoked like a freight train came off in there. And then when he came in, they said, sick him, John. Get him, John. Get him. Straighten him out. And boy, I whooped that book out on that Negro. He shut his mouth, mother, sister Lorraine. He shut his mouth, and he had to admit. He said, well, he got the Bible for what he's talking about. I can't touch him. I said, my God, amen. Then I lit in on both of them. I said, if you die with what you got. And, they, they, and the one was running her mouth was a prominent member of one of the big-time churches in Shreepo. Pastors on TV. Amen. Now, if I call his name, but that ain't going to do you no good. God, last time I called his name on the radio, he called me and tried to sue me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Amen. Call my house. I don't appreciate what you said. I said, all I'm doing is talking about what your doctor. Amen. Your name. What? You, you trying to deny your doctor now? The stuff you teaching on the radio now? I hung up in his face. Amen. Boy. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. That's a real nigga. Amen. Uh, 
Amen. Where you at? Uh, first, second, Peter. I strike that. I won't. I can't let y'all get away from him. I want First Corinthians six fourteen, and I want you to read till I tell you stop. And I want Second Corinthians chapter seven and verse one from you. Second Corinthians six fourteen. Uh, hey, we're gonna bring it in right here, Sister Edna. Sister Edna, we're gonna bring it in right here. You with me, Sister Edna? You with me? First Corinthians six and fourteen. Read. And God has both raised up the Lord. Wait a minute. Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked Read. with unbelief. Read. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? Asking the question. Read on. And what communion has light with darkness? Read. 15. And what kind Answer of. Answer me. Can we mix with anybody? Read. And what concord has Christ with Belial? Read. Or what part has he that believeth with an infant? Read. 16. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? Lord have mercy. There's that thing idol again. I think he's kind of ticked. And y'all remember, I told y'all on Wednesday night in a statement, when Christianity came on the scene, these people were steeped in idolatry. Everybody had a little statue they bowed down to. Everybody, amen. Nah. So Christianity is a whole new, hey, he was a new kid on the block. All they knew was, amen, idolatry. But when they got saved in Thessalonians, they pulled everything they had out, the books they had, and they burned everything they had. Amen now. And these people got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost in Corinth, but now he's telling them, what's wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Do you really think you can get saved and then let the, and, and, and hobnob with the devil, you better wake up. That's what he's saying. Read on, read. For ye are the temple of the living God. We're in Second chapter 6, what verse in? 16. Read. For ye are the temple of the living God. As God has said. I will dwell in them. Read. I will walk in them. Read. And I will be their God. Read. And they shall be my people. Say it who? Say it who? Read. 17. Wherefore come out from among what them. What did you say? Wherefore come out from among Let the church say come out. Now call your name. Read. And be ye separate, says the Lord. Read. And touch not the unclean thing. Now, if I, if he's going to accept anything, then let's tear that book out, that word, that passage out, let's tear it out. Read, read on, read on, read and on. I will receive you. Wait a minute. You come out, I receive you. If you don't come out, what's going to happen? Read. 18. And will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord. All right. Give me that seventh chapter, the first verse. I want 1 Corinthians 6 and... 18. Having therefore these promises. Give me the 19 verse. Dearly beloved. Having therefore the promises of what? You come out, I'll be your God. You shall be my sons and daughters. If you want these promises to be fulfilled in your life, if you want me as your God, if you want me as your father, let then us you come out. Therefore, having these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves. What did you say? Cleanse ourselves. Wait, wait. I ain't supposed to do nothing. Jesus Christ, do it all when I come to the altar. April fool. No, what we in June? June fool. Read. Let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh. Act all up here. Who is he talking to? Saints. Read. All filthiness of the flesh and spirit. And spirit. Your flesh act up because you got the wrong. You got another spirit running down in there. First Corinthians six and nineteen. Give me the nineteen verse. What? Know ye no, not. You're not that your ain't body. your rep told you? Ain't your bishop told you? Ain't your superintendent told you? Ain't your cardinal told you? Ain't your spiritual advisor told you? That your body is your the what? Temple, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. Which you have which a you have a God, and ye are not your own. What did you say? You I'm not what? My own. Hey, read. For ye are bought with a price. I'm what? Bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. My God. I think we can safely say 
he ain't going to put up with nothing less. And if that be true, if those verses be true, and I don't come out and still think I'm a, quote, child of God, unquote, I believe, I believe somebody's confused. Because if he's not requiring this, and, I, and if I absolutely am going to stand before his judgment seat, don't you know this is what I'm going to answer for right here? Whether I did this or not, whether I yoked up with the wrong thing or not, whether I pulled off the filthiness of my flesh or not, amen, I'm going to answer for it. I'm, you too, you too. Hey, we all in this thing together. Amen, we all in it together. Hey, and everybody's going to meet right there. Everybody got skeletons in their closet. Speak for yourself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't that the whole point of him writing the scriptures so we can get them skeletons out? Right. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we we won't do certain things because we'd we be too embarrassed. But when you stand for God, it's, it's going to be a whole new ball game. You wish a million times you had to pull off that, that mess, came out of that mess, let the mess alone. If you stir up mess, it'll stink. Amen. But we got a sweet smelling savor. Savor. Huh? Anybody ever savored anything? Everybody raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. Huh? You ever tasted anything that you never tasted before? You savored that. Amen. You, you, you taste tested that. If you like it, you kept eating it or drinking it. If you didn't, you stopped doing it, then you're not. You savored it. And if it tastes good,